Good day, people. I'm just going to show you. Uh, this is a meteorite that one of my father's students uh, gave to him for identification. But uh, it has been confirmed this is a meteorite. Well, this meteorite has been found when they were um, swimming at a river near um, near Gunung Jarai, somewhere in Gurun. So. Here, the first thing is to say this is a meteorite. Um, see, there's metal shining on the surface. If you can see, well, you can't really see it, but you can see some glistening things on the surface of the meteorite. Well, it's because uh, there's metal shining out of it. Well, and also, um, the density of this meteorite it is actually very heavy if you can see <laughs> it's three times heavier than a normal rock would be right now I do not have a weighing machine with me but I'll make another one another documentary of this when I do have a weighing machine and also one more thing is um, you see this meteorite is made out of well iron and nickel so you can see that mm, inside it shines very brightly this is the interior of a meteorite normally the interior is more magnetic um, but out, even outside it can be magnetic um, that's a magnet but you see the magnet doesn't really comprehend at the surface sometimes so see that's how it sticks on the surface and this is how it sticks on the inside well so that proves it is magnetic because of its iron and nickel composition and also um, you see the fusion crust when when the meteorite falls through the atmosphere it it's heated up and well there's combustion so it gets very hot until it starts to burn up. That's why it it looks like this rock has been burned. See it it's all like brownish on the exterior of the meteorite. Well, moving on um we can see its textures. Well it it looks like there are prints on it. Um that's because it it melted during the entry of the atmosphere so you can see it's like someone has left prints on it well also to say this meteorite um, really doesn't leave a streak on paper it just just not like other metals which um, some other metals they would rather rust and on paper they would really leave a streak or line and also like other stones but this meteorite doesn't so that's all for now just to show you the credit goes all to my father's student who found this and it's really nice to really find a meteorite in Malaysia since this is actually the first time I've heard of any meteorite being found in Malaysia. Normally I wouldn't have believed there was any but well nothing is impossible so the meteorite half of it is a size of almost a fist I guess. Not too big though but you can see it it really has a very beautiful texture actually one small one like a pendant would already cost 80 ringgit Malaysia but um, you can see that this is in its natural form unprocessed so you can't really use it for anything much but it really has a strong aura you know, we are really lucky to get this.
really truly lucky all right that's that's all for our documentary today i really thank you oh by the way um, my name's kimberly mayan vong tolun singh and i'm um four, 14 years old right now and i'm reporting to you today so um thank you